Good morning. Good morning. We are starting the day early, which we know Super we love early. to like do. Rope drop early. Well, we just missed it. We just but it's basically rope drop oh, early. Look at this view. Get out of town. Look at this, she's feeling it today. She's got her jacket. It's cold. It's she's got her ears, straightened hair. You haven't straightened your hair like that in a long time. Nope. Oh, that's my wife, guys. And gals, I'm lucky dude. We're going to meet our, our friends who watched Eve, who used to be our neighbors, but then they moved. We're going to meet them at the Magic Kingdom for a fun little morning. And Magic Kingdom's open until midnight, so we might go there, go home, then come back. You never know. Never know. They will ring. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It is gorgeous. Thank you, sir. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. No, 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 wait, wait. no, no, no. Uh, after you, after you, oh. after you, after you, after you. After you. The gentleman. <laughs> okay, I'm just letting you know, cast member just corrected all the guests. So this is not the pink monorail. No, it's the coral monorail. Coral monorail, not pink monorail. Coral. Just, just to clarify. Is there any better place to be at 8 a.m.? 8 a.m.? Nope. Look at this curly Q tree. Um, maybe the North Pole. The North Pole? Yeah. 8 a.m. on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Just to see all the hype, you know? You know, yeah. Let's go to that annual castle because it looks like there's no line right now. Okay. I know we've shown going through this entrance before, but if you're an annual pass holder, you can go through a special line just for annual pass holders. No big deal, just uh, just enjoying the pool life right now. Sarah's here with me. We left our friends, um, our friends that lived in our complex that moved a little further away, like five minutes away. Went and hang out with them in the, the parks today. We yeah, they took care of Eve. So we were hanging out with them, that's why we had like that little montage of all the, the rides, ride footage, because we were just a ride, 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 and yeah, it um, great. it's not always the right place for my time to pull out the vloggy camera. But now we're actually gonna go home and hang out with Eve and do some work, but we figured we parked at Grand Floridian today. Why not just sit in the loungy chairs at the pool because it's gorgeous here. Yeah, it's nice out. It's cool. I actually probably it's wouldn't probably be. Probably 70 now. I probably a little less with the breeze, yeah. but it's overcast and it's just perfect. I wanted it to be sunny. I wanted to lay out by our pool at our apartment today. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. But maybe tomorrow, maybe later today if it breaks up. Now. Yeah. Really hard not to get a, a lot of a smoothie right now, but must resist. Trying to resist. I say must resist, she says trying. If we stay here too long, we'll probably end up with one. We'll see. We're home, we're home. We got the, the dog. She's a little leprechaun. She's still waking up, she was snoozing. I don't think that was the, the like most smooth transition. Transition? No, it was good. Sarah was beating herself up. She meant to get some footage leaving property, but she forgot to. Sorry. Okay, we were excited to come home to our puppy. Yep, we're gonna edit. We're super British now. Sarah walks in the door and says, <laughs> I'm gonna put the kettle on. <laughs> I've been on the tea kick. My throat still hurts. And I love tea, so. If oh, you're having some too? Yeah, that's why I asked if it was full. Oh, you so sorry. Look at her, just like, let me rest. Slowly lick Peter's hand. <laughs> So we're gonna edit, have a snack, a little lunch snack, and make some tea. That's the plan. All right, it's been a few hours. It's like just after eight. 
give you a little update on our day because it's been a while. Sarah edited the vlog um, and then we talked about a couple of things coming up with Playing Crazy Button Club and some exciting things going on there that's going to keep us busy for the next couple of weeks. Um, Sarah's now doing some more design work. We might still go out again tonight because Magic Kingdom's up until midnight, but it's getting late. Eve has literally been a banshee all night. She's just like, we got back at like one, I think, or two, maybe one o'clock. Been playing, running around. We took her on a long walk, a, long, a good walk. Um, she, we thought about bringing her to our, our dog park, but we never took her there before and found out today because there were two big dogs in there. She was so excited to show the big dogs that she got three-fourths of her body through the fence to get in. So we're like, this isn't going to work with you off a leash. At least until she's bigger, but the thing is that she's not going to get much bigger unless she gets wider. But that may happen, but she's literally been like non-stop to the point where she's like delirious now because she's so tired. But she finally is laying on the ground. But I wanted to show you what I'm going to do that Sarah doesn't know I'm doing it. We got these fancy, two of these. I forgot what for, maybe Christmas or a wedding or something. Um, Cause Sarah loves, as you know, like we both love vacation drinks. And the idea was our, our teal patio set that I got for Sarah's birthday last year. We're like, we're, we don't have a patio to use this on yet or a deck or anywhere, but we're gonna ha have one in Florida. Pair that with these. That's vacation lifestyle. Not just a vacation drink, not just a vacation moment that's living the vacation lifestyle so i have some margaritaville margarita mix that i'm going to use with some ice and some frozen sliced strawberries make a fancy drink in our ninja six blade blender love this thing haven't used it in so long and i'm going to make some fancy drinks for us before while sarah's designing so let's do it and later tonight, I'll show you what this is, and I'll go over you. I'll go over with you some cool things that came in our Disney bio. It's literally the perfect consistency and flavor. And if that had any ice because of the strawberries being frozen, did not think it was gonna go that easy. All right, I'm gonna get this all fancy looking for Sarah. I'm gonna go in there and surprise her. What in the world? What is it? I heard you talking about the margarita. It's a strawberry margarita, margaritaville margarita, mm. but not alcoholic. Thank you. I love these cups. It's finally like summery again. We can use them. The good? Mm -hmm. The little sour. I used all of this frozen sliced strawberries. Really? Yeah. Right, do you have one too? Yeah. Promise. Promise. I'm gonna go talk about our Disney pals now. All right. I chose not to go with the pineapple cup. I love my Wild Waves Mickey Mouse Classic Tumbler Cup. Super good weekend treat. I wanted to show you the two pieces of DVC Magic Mail we got today. One came in this cool little envelope with membership magic on the, on the side there. And what that was, this is like, I already knew most of this information because I stalked the DVC website. But this was just like a random seasonal card. And DVC mail comes in like the nicest. Like when Sarah did this, she does this thing where she's like. And she can like tell the weight and the grade and the material. and She knows her stuff. But this was just like the 2018 guide to membership magic. Talks about cruise lines for DVC members. Benefits that have changed that are continuing. This is my favorite part. The. Moonlight Magic. Um, nothing else too crazy was in here, but I wanted to show you the back because this is just awesome. Look at this. Curiosity 
keeps leading us down new paths. I could frame that. I could... I could... You know what? I just ripped it out. We could frame that. Huh. Sarah got us a new piece of art. What is, what is it? Just a piece of mail. And this is the cool thing. I won't go into too much detail with this, but this is uh, the quarterly. If you don't know, one of the extra little benefits of being a DVC member, they give you a quarterly or a seasonal uh, magazine. It's called Disney Files Magazine. And this has Tree of Life on there. And if you're like, why is the Tree of Life on there? And it's because April 22nd is Earth Day, which begins the celebration of the 20th anniversary of Disney's Animal Kingdom. So this has like a a bunch of articles in it just about like DVC, about Disney parks, resorts, cruise lines, adventures by Disney, fun little things like 2020 vision, 20 years of Animal Kingdom, little snippets of information. Notable numbers, Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park is home to more than 2,000 animals. I think there's a couple of these. Crews used more than 720 tons of steel to create the iconic floating mountains of Pandora. What else do we have in here? Ooh, crews planted more than 4 million plants, trees, and grasses during construction of Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. There's a cool article right here explaining stuff about Moonlight Magic. I just saw Eve squeeze behind our garbage can, get really freaked out, look at me like, what did I do? Turn around and like squeeze back, but she had to like, to get out of the spot. She's, she's fighting sleeping right now. Notable mentions, this is super cool, the Reunion Station at Wilderness Lodge, this spring, it's, they've turned it into like kind of like a concierge club. You pay $55 a night for adults, $33 for kids, um, 3 to 9, and then there's like breakfast options, dinner options, but then there's like cool events, like what do we got here? Here you go, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily, Reunion Station will host an evolving array of special paid experiences created with members in mind from beverage tastings to a class designed to help you get the most out of that camera on your smartphone. So like a class to learn how to use your smartphone. I don't know if we'll ever do those because they're paid and I don't know yet. There's not too many details if you have to be staying on a reservation. But there is a cool complimentary thing in the evenings from 7 to 10 p.m. It's going to be open up just to like hang out. We might be able to get in there without a reservation. If not, maybe we'll get to go in July when we have technically a DVC reservation at Old Key West. New kitchen and food and beverage offerings like things from DCA, uh, the new ones at Disney Springs. Now this is my favorite part and I want to get put on here so bad but at the back of it it's the Disney Vacation Club family album and it's you can mail in a photo and they'll put it eventually on here. That's super cool. Let me put it in the comment down below if you're a DVC member or you know somebody who's had their family photo in the Disney files. And last but not least, they have a whole multi-page spread on Pixar Paradise. All, like with Pixar Pier opening up and then they're doing um, special nighttime fireworks in Disneyland, Paint the Night's coming back, Pixar Play Parade during the day's coming. Ugh. A lot of fun makes me want to go back to Disneyland a lot. But I think Eve's finally gotten to a point where she's going to fall asleep a little bit. I'm going to go enjoy this little drink and wait for Sarah to be done because I want to hang out with her. But she's busy being a rock star. Alright, it was a little, bit of a, a little bit of a wonky vlog day. Yeah. But we had a lot of... Yeah, we hope that you like... We had a lot of work to do and... We just, we Everything just, kind of fell into place of what we had to get done. Yeah, so we had a lot of stuff with the YouTube and the Brookhart Project and Blink Crazy Button Club that we did tonight. It's going to be a couple exciting weeks. Yes, we can't wait to share it all. And a, a lot of that's going to come out in the next vlog after this one. Mm-hmm. Because today's the 10th, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, today's the 10th. It'll go up on the 11th. Tomorrow's the 11th. It'll go up on the 12th. Mm -hmm. So, it's super Good cool. Good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.